everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showcasing my Pencrest 200, or my Lakewood 9713-A, I think it, that's what it is, I don't really know. This fan actually broke last time I ran it, so I hope to God it doesn't break again, because that would be scary and super annoying. And I'm in the bedroom, so I can't really fix it, so I really hope it doesn't break. Because what happened is the blades kind of like fell off the shaft there. They were just kind of running loose and it was starting to hit everything. So I had to like stop the fan and fix it. Luckily it was on, I was in the basement already so I was able to fix it and clean it up. Yeah, the blades, the, that little hex nut thing came loose and then it just like, you know, it fell on top of the motor kind of. You know, it was making all sorts of racket and I was getting scared so I just like shut it off and then. I thought, I thought like a bug went in there and it hit the fan or something, because that's what happened before. I think a bug flew in the fan and it made like a really loud noise. I thought that's what it was. But then I checked and the shaft is sticking out like two inches. I'm like, oh, so that happened. So, look, well, it's fixed now. I did run it for a little bit after that. Hopefully it doesn't break again. But yeah, the fan was like speeding up and everything. And then after it was speeding up, it just went ding, 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 like super loud with the blades. So if it speeds up again, I'm going to have to turn it off. Not sure if it was running on a cold start. No idea. But, so hopefully that doesn't happen. It's plugged into a surge protector and an extension cord because the cord is wrapped all around the handle. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's get over the overview here. So on the side, we have the little fan stand thing. This fan is huge, by the way. Like, let me give you an insight. Like, this is my Galaxy fan, right? It looks pretty big. I measured it. And the Galaxy fan ends perfectly right on this ridge here. So that's like the size of the S2 V3, which is pretty big. This goes like another inch. This handle is like beefy plastic. Like that isn't going anywhere. It's a reversible fan. And this is the thermostat. Thermostat does work. I don't like to use it though, because these lake woods with the thermostat are known for like blowing up and whatnot so I'm not gonna do that any more than I should but you get the point. Little scratches here, I'm not sure what that's from. Back rail is all metal. And that's that beefy McMillan diamond brace motor. I call it the diamond motor because the brace kind of looks like a diamond because it cuts off the corners. This fan was oiled too. Like, I think a week ago or something, or a week and a half ago, something like that. Got wood grain on the top. This is a JCPenney owned fan, but we all know Lakewood is behind the scenes here. The blades were polished, so you probably see, see the camera? I don't know. It's hard to tell, because the grill's in the way. So, without further ado, let's hope this doesn't blow up or break again because it's going to freak out. And if it does break, I am going to put it on YouTube because it'll be kind of funny. But anyway, I did tighten it though. I tightened it with like everything I had. I even used a hammer to tighten it somehow. Because I had the Allen key thing, so I was just able to do that. So I'll start off, I'll start it off on low because at least if it breaks on low, it gives me more time to turn it off. Okay. Oh, my hand is staying on this knob. Yeah, see, it's now slow again. Motor is humming. Doesn't have a startup sound, so that's a little awkward. Really quiet on low. I'm like, I'm very blown away by this. Get it? Blown away? I'll, I'll stop there. I'm sorry. It's actually quieter than the liquid box fans with the plastic blades. I like that sound. That sounds like an airplane, kind of. All right, I'll stop using references. No, oh, come on, now my paper's moving. Stop moving, paper. Anything better to do than move around in the wind? It's starting to speed up again. I'm getting scared. All right, let's just go to medium and be done with it. Oh, there is a startup sound, or hum. A little more power. Here's high. This is like a tank. And there's spin down. All right, 
it didn't blow up yet. Let's get on with the reversible and be done with it. It's got a good spin down. I did oil the front and back for the motor. I didn't take the motor apart though, and I don't plan to. Because it's so heavy and huge, it's not even worth it. I do plan to do a, a velocity test with this fan because I the results would be probably bigger than the Dominion because the Dominion has the highest velocity test result right now, blowing at three fans, I think. If you're a regular subscriber, you'll know what that means. All right, now let's go into exhaust mode or backwards. <sighs> I don't really run the fan off in, a, in the exhaust mode, so this will be interesting. I usually run it on intake because that's what most fans do and take, so. Here's low. I think one or two hums there. Oh, no, that paper over there is going crazy right now. Uh, see that Sears fan right there? Those blades are gonna be moving in a second. I need to move to medium, guaranteed. Sounds the same. Just backwards. The air on the back is, I think, around the same. At least it should be. Here's medium on backwards or exhaust. Seems to run a little slower on exhaust. that sound it makes it's like when it slows down so it's about the same spin down as it was on exhaust as if it was on intake really no difference there because the blade weight is the same it's not like it's going to change or anything by the way it is four revit blades right there i'm not sure what the difference is between three and four but it's a fan collector thing there you go i'll just show you the thermostat does work again we'll low Turned off around 90 to 100. Wait, is it that hot in here? Like 89. Wow. That's a little. My room is really hot today, apparently. It doesn't even feel that hot. Maybe the fan's just doesn't know what it's doing, maybe. Like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that is my Pencrest. Probably that's probably my most powerful fan I own. Like the Dominion is nothing compared to this and that's metal bladed and everything spin down seemed longer with the thermostat huh weird so yeah that's my video for today and if you guys liked it oh i forgot to mention uh the, the year is 1969 and i'll try to get a startup sound but there really isn't anything so they're just gonna be kind of weird a little bit of a startup sound there wasn't last year so something happened within the year that i don't know all right see you guys in my next video bye